Three, two, one. Ooh, this is back to back episodes. I mean, <laughs> I'm in the old garage. You guys can see, you know, the washer and dryer that I use, the chaotic BS I have to go to being a family man. I can't film inside my own, my own apartment. Oh well, what do you do? All right. Um, if you're gonna drink, don't drive. If you're gonna drive, don't drink. Twin two, uh, it's something near and dear to my heart on this red father. Remember everyone's pulling. Twin two veterans died day to PTSD suicide. So if you know someone, reach out to them. Facebook, instant message, give them a call, send them a text, uh, offer to buy them lunch. Simple ran random acts of kindness. And even if you don't know, know that person, a simple smile, a wave, holding the door for someone, that could that could impact their life, believe it or not. It could give them that sense of belonging feeling, and uh, that sense of belonging may uh, just keep them in the game just a little bit longer. Trust me, I suffer from this disease. I'm not I'm not too embarrassed to admit it. And uh, whenever someone does a, just holds the door for me, hey, man, that just... That just, you know, hey, there's good people out there. So I just want to keep on reiterating that there is good people out there. Yeah. All right. Uh, the beer I got today is um, a, beer, a beer from my friends at uh, Aeroplanes. And I originally wanted to do a beer review with them, but I, I can't get a hold of these guys. They're like uh, rock stars or something. Um, but I understand everyone's busy and stuff. I'm not, hey, you guys enjoy your, your um, you know, success. I, I feel that they're successful. They're doing a lot for the community and everything. And they put on a lot of events and stuff. And that's how you grow a company. Um, so this one is probably one of my favorites. I have not uh, really drank a beer that I've been disappointed in. Uh, some that I prefer not to drink over others, but other than that, I drank them and I've enjoyed them somewhat. This is Aeroplanes um, Koji Brute IPA, and this is a seasonal creation for the, these guys. And um, let's let's go. Let's critique the can like we are. All right, this is even though this is simple and everything. Okay, I mean, I dig the the aeroplane right here. I I dig that they use a wrap here, and then you know right here, you know they got arrow, and then right right here it gives you, um, gives you the bitterness units twenty three, and then six point four percent alcohol by volume, um, brewed and canned in Wichita, Kansas, the Aeroplanes Brewery. Okay, I thought maybe it told a little story or something. Uh, it's got a little thing brewed in Wichita, Kansas. You know, but I like it. It's simple. It's um, it, it that, it's what really it caught my eye, honestly. In the liquor store, it is not as flashy as some of these uh, craft beer um, creations, artist creations, but um, I dig it. Um, Dude, I think you might need to add something sometime down the road, probably. But right now, dude, it's it's good to go, I feel. And I love the way you put the, you know, aroma, tropical, taste, bright, experience, unique. And, uh, of course, got something on here that, uh, um, I don't know, I thought you put the calibrated, uh, which, which is a... If you work in um, aviation, that is something very, very serious is everything has to be within specs and calibrations and stuff like that. And uh, they're taking their beer to that kind of that level, I feel, being in here, Wichita, Kansas, the air capital of the world. And then the, the, the play on the name, aeroplanes, not aeroplanes, but, you know, like we, we live in Kansas, it's just we're a bunch of planes and stuff like that there is no mountains and stuff like that so i think that's a unique play combination on that i love it and everything um let's get on with uh I, i've had this many times and if if i'm not mistaken okay i believe that koji brute is 
they use kochi rice somehow in the process of this and it gives it a brute which is a dry um you know a dry taste so let's uh go ahead and crack her open all right it's got it's it and i can't rinse this glass out so i, I have some of the old beer in there it's got a great head on it um it's got some very large bubbles around the top area, but it's uh, surrounded by a bunch of tiny bubbles in the middle. Um, the color for an IPA is, uh, I don't know, I think it's spot on. It's kind of hazy looking, which I, that's what IPAs look like. Kind of a orangish golden color, and I'm colorblind, so I'm giving you what I see. All right, now let's give it for the aroma. All right, the color of the head, the head, I'm going to give a 3.8. The color and stuff, I'll give it 3.5. All right, I'm, automatically I'm getting like a fruity type of, you know, maybe some grapefruit, some lemon, uh, lime or something. I, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting hops, of course. I mean, because this is an IPA. And uh, believe it or not, it... it it, if dry had a smell to it, I, I think it's coming through in the beer. Okay, I know it's going to come through in the taste because I've had it before. All right. So you're at airplanes drinking beer. There's this guy that comes up to you with an eye patch. His name's Casey, right? Arr, I'm a Marine. I cannot drink it. So you don't want to buy him a beer. Oh, we forgot to do the taste. Shit, I'm sorry. It's got a, a nice level uh, hop in it. I mean, nice and smooth. It does have that dry back end on it. It's kind of got like a, I guess like a perfume taste in my mouth. I, I don't know. It's not horrible or nothing, but kind of like uh, probably from the hop, you know, it's got that, you know, piney taste, but very flavorful uh, a lot of fruit notes in this you know um, I'm getting like a little grapefruit maybe or it could be a lemon or lime somewhere in there um, citrus always meshes nice with uh, what do you call it uh, IPAs I feel so I, I feel the more successful IPAs have that nice citrus blend in there and citrus seems to blend with a lot of beers especially like a Belgian wheat ale um, you know wheat just wheat period okay um so all right you're about ready to get casey patch you're in the airplanes and there's this marine that's going around challenging everyone to a drink off because he wants to earn some free beers and get a free drunk and you don't want to do that so i'm going to do the work for you i am going to chug this beer and see what the chug ability is the taste i'm going to give the taste on this I'm going to give the taste a 4.0, all right? And like I said, the 4.0 is based upon, um, based upon, uh, what do you call it? Um, woo, I, I'm sorry. I ran out of recording time because sometimes I save these videos for editing and stuff, and uh, I just did not. I ran out of video. I really didn't think. I thought I could get this done in eight minutes, 49 seconds, but I am actually too long-winded. I didn't like to tell too many stories, but when I feel I come across good things, I like to give it up to them like this. Uh, Elwood Cool Ship, I, I like it. Would I buy it again? Yes, I will. Uh, probably if I come across it. And uh, one of the beers I do sip on, hmm, kind of regularly, yeah, I'd say that. Man, I just had a uh, filled a growler up full of it. I bought one of their mugs. I like to go down there and get the little discount for having the mug, and I do appreciate that. Troy and uh, Lance. I know Lance more than Troy. So you get Casey patched in aeroplanes. Or I can out drink it. I'm going to see what the chugability is of this beer. Koji IPA. Uh, woo. It goes down nice and smooth. 
it's a it's kind of a light lighter IPA I feel you know the the dryness and stuff is uh it, it's actually kind of I, I think it kind of cancels out some of the the aftertaste there is a slight you know hoppy piney aftertaste after but uh very delightful very um you know uh very smooth uh clean tasting beer and uh since this is a tap room, brewery tap room, you know, you guys can visit them here in Wichita, Kansas. Look up the information there on Hadley Street. I don't remember the total address off of Hadley, but, you know, you can go in there. And something that the brewmaster Troy did was, you know, he was mixing, you know, putting a little light in the koji or uh, ginger pineapple one. You know, you can, that's another way you can kind of create different flavors and tastes of beers. Now, it's something that you can't can. Well, you probably could can if they wanted to. I mean, but that's just another way to create different flavors and stuff. You know, I mean, experiment. Go out there and experiment. Go to a different, go to Wichita Brewing Company. Go to River City Brewing Company. Uh, Grant City, I know they used to do it. They used to call it like a, they used to get like the two-pole Admiral or something. It was two different styles of beers, you know, and then they put in the mug and stuff. And it was delicious. You know, um, I miss uh, Granite City. They had some great beers and they had some great food. Not to mention their brunch on Sundays was the greatest, man. Oh, those cheesy potatoes. Holy cow. Arr, I'm getting hungry. Of course, what am I talking about? I'm a big guy. I'm always hungry. I'm not going to lie. Um, something I need to uh, need to work on personal level, um, among with other things. But uh, the chuggability, great chuggability. I think you have a chance of beating Casey Patch. And uh, the chance of you seeing him bobbing around sometime, probably probably pretty good since he's a Marine and he likes to uh, veteran, <coughs> veteran owned and operated places. I know that. Just not veteran owned and operated places. I know he likes to travel to some of the other breweries, some of the other bars, taste some great beers, tell some stories. That's what it's about. Telling stories, drinking beer, having some fun, meeting some new new and interesting people on the way i mean uh i believe alcohol just <clears throat> when done responsibly alcohol is a good thing i think it brings people together it uh makes a shy person not shy it i like to call it liquid truth someone who's got something in the back of their head all of a sudden they have a few too many and all of a sudden they start telling me the truth so i think you know if we capture uh prisoners of war and stuff, they don't need to torture them, stuff. just give them, uh, take them to the strip club, buy them some beers, get them drunk, do they be singing, singing like no tomorrow, no sense in torturing alcohol, alcohol, t <laughs> let you tell the story, just a, a few beers will do it, especially if they enjoy the beers, now just remember, I'm driving that truck down the road, hopefully getting you to a destination of your liking, like this, uh, Kochi Brute IPA, now, don't forget the beautiful thing about beer reviews and if you watch anyone else's beer review is there is no right or wrong with these beer reviews they're it's their opinion okay they, they're just trying to give their 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 uh information to you so maybe you know maybe you like the dryness of this koji okay so if you like that dryness that's going to steer you in that direction to drink that beer okay we all have different palates. We all taste stuff different. I don't really care for Coors Light. If, wanna, if anyone's ever heard me talk, no, I don't really care for Coors Light. But I tell you what, I will drink one with you. If it's fr if you buy it or it's free, yes, I will drink it with you. And we'll have a good time and we'll talk. We'll tell stories. And thank you guys very much. Thank you for watching. Let's get drunk with B-Rad. Another episode. Just another Marine Corps veteran rambling on for no reason whatsoever. But I do like to share my stories with you guys and, and what I learned about these breweries. I like to tell that story. I like to get you guys a little bit more uh, personable, you know, a little more uh, intimate with these breweries, so to say. Close, you know. Um, you know, because, uh, hey, that, that just, you know, people that do good things like some of these breweries that are eco-friendly using solar power, recycling and stuff like that. You know, the, the, those are the companies you want to support and stuff. You know, if they put out a good product and they do good things for the community, that that's what's important. 
Okay, that's what makes America great. And speaking of making America great, I need to toast our fallen brothers and sisters and sacrifice it all for this great country. Thank you very much in heaven. And uh, my dad's up there right now. Without that, uh, we wouldn't be able to live like we, can, we are. And if you don't think we don't live free, then you're mistaken. Because I've been to third world countries a couple different occasions, Kuwait and Somalia, and these people don't live as well as we do, and they don't have the freedoms that we do. Okay, so if you're someone like Colin Kaepernick that believes that, you know, a simple 13-star Betsy Ross flag is offensive because of slavery that happened, you know, 100 hundred years ago is uh, just ridiculous. Okay, unfortunately, slavery happened. That was a horrible freaking thing. Should have never even happened, okay? But you know what? Get over it. Try to make America better today. Stop worrying about the past. It happened, and it was, it, it was horrible, okay? But let's make America better for today. Let's not, uh, let's not dwell on this crap nonsense. Just trying to be famous because you're rambling on about some kind of tell Nike that, that those shoes are. I, I tell you what, if you open up those shoes to the veteran community, man, they would sell like freaking hotcakes. Every person on every Marine Corps base, Navy base, Army base, Air Force base, even the Coasties would be wearing those. Their sales would be super high, I guarantee it. So, a tribute to our fallen and always chesty pull wherever you are. All right. If you're in the Wichita, Kansas area, stop off at Airplanes or the Koji Brute IPA. You can't go wrong with it. It's uh, very delicious. And if you happen to be in England, and I forget where out in England, I did researches and have a big long thing, but if you're in England, go, go visit. Uh, Oh, good. Somebody didn't tell you that on the other video. Stop off and tell Lance hello. Tell the bartender Brad hello. Tell um, Troy, their brewmaster, hello. And uh, JBR, their senior sales representative, hello. Tell them B Rad sent you. And uh, what I want to do here in the future is I'm going to get a few other locally owned breweries i want to do reviews on them i know i've done with Shore brewing company and stuff i might try walnut river out of el dorado these places i feel are you know i've heard nothing but good things in the community about drinking these beers man everyone loves them you know everyone loves wbc everyone loves airplanes everyone loves uh you know the walnut river it, all the ones that are in the liquor stores of course some of the other breweries you know like norton's and stuff like that people just flocking, you know, to patronize these places. And, and it, as a witch um it's really a good, good feeling. So thank you guys very much. Thank you, Brad, Lance, Scott Lossky, of course, our Casey Patch, Chris Nicholson, brother. Let's get together. Let's drink a beer. Let's tell some stories. We raw. To everyone else that watches, me and my, my friends that are over in other countries, Canada, Latvia, and stuff like that, Dickie's uh, Beer Review. Thank you guys very much. Thank you for watching. Let's keep on watching. Let's grow this channel. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Let's grow this channel. Share the shit out of it. Thank you guys very much. Simper motherfucking five.